What's going on? Master Coach of Battle Ropes, Aaron Guyette. And I'm going over the benefits of Battle Ropes. This is number eight. And obviously, I'm moving this rope in a ton of different ways. But one of the main benefits is that it improves my shoulder strength, my shoulder stability, and my shoulder mobility in a dynamic, dynamic fashion, right? So I'm not just keeping that one plane of motion right here, here where I'm still using my shoulders, but I'm only using it in this one singular line of movement with the rope because the rope can move anywhere, right? And it is so dynamic in its ability to move, right? So even if, even if we've got perfectly symmetrical, awesome waves, right? We're gonna tend to stay in a very similar line, but it's not gonna be near as similar as, as if you're on a machine, right? Or you're on something that's bilateral, right? Where you're connected, right? Closing, at least closing the chain here in that upper body, or even, boom, you're connected here and closing the chain in, in your lower body, right? You're gonna tend to stay in a fairly normal and, and similar pathway with, with the force that's loaded through it. Whereas the rope, because it's so dynamic and sometimes it'll adjust and move, even if you barely move off of your line of movement, then you're gonna really radically see how far that moves off its line of movement. But if I wanna train good shoulder strength and stability, what I, I, I wanna train the normal line, right? If I'm, if I'm preparing for a bench, right? And that's all I do, I just bench press. I wanna be good here, but I also, I wanna have at least 15 degrees one way and 15 degrees the other way in, in my movement. I wanna have that stability, I wanna have that mobility, right? I wanna have access to that range and to be able to provide strength in that range. That's gonna make that shoulder joint, right? That shoulder complex, the scapula, everything that's connected there, much, much more solid for me to push within that line. So if I have a dynamic sport where I'm throwing and I'm catching and I'm grabbing and I'm, th you know, whatever it might be, right, then I need to have very mobile, very stable and very strong shoulders in a variety of different movement patterns. And the rope enables me to do that all in one. I don't have to change the way I'm loaded. I don't have to change the way I'm, I'm moving. I don't have to change any fulcrum. I am the fulcrum. Right, I am the machine that's generating this output, right? And I'm getting that input back and my shoulders going, okay, yeah, we wanna stay strong here. So a couple of uh, key cues and coaches, uh, coaching points. What you don't wanna do is move outside of your functional range of motion, your controlled range of motion and start training outside of it. That's, that's called vulnerability. That's called way too much risk, not enough return. But if I can, if I can stay inside, so this is my functional range of motion here, and move it in a bunch of different movement patterns, <clears throat> then slowly, week by week, I'll be able to increase that functional range of motion and be able to have more strength and more stability because that's how our body works, right? That's how this physiological system works. It's gonna adapt to whatever you're putting into it. So if I wanna put in stronger, more stable shoulders, dynamically, bam, the ropes are the way to go. Boom, make your next one your best one.